Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a draft and this time I messaged four different content creators to give me five draft pick challenges each. Honestly, I kind of already regret it. No, I'm just kidding. It should be fun. Hopefully it's possible. I think I'll be able to pull it off, but the cap on the other hand might be a bit of an issue. We'll have to wait and see how that goes. But for the time being, I will remain hopeful that we will be successful in this draft. That's a lot of fulls. If I am gonna pull this off, I'm gonna need some music. The old NHL heaters playlist makes its return. So right now I'm gonna throw up on the screen the challenges that we got from each person. For this challenge, I reached out to Thrash, Nufi Bullet, Tactics, and Arcade Regiment, but I just know him as Phil. I've also created a text document just for myself for this draft to kind of rank them in terms of what I think I should go for first. So there's a hard category, a medium, and then an easy. So in the easy category, I would have something like player over 200 pounds. That shouldn't be too hard to come by at any point in the draft, but even something like player making 7 million plus, I have two of those, and I put that in medium because what if we run out of contracts that big? In case you weren't aware, to make this even more difficult on myself, I can't achieve more than one of these at once. I have to specify which one I am knocking off every single pick, which explains why I can have two of the making 7 million plus. Like I said, I don't know if this is gonna be entirely possible. If I can get 16 out of 20, I'm gonna be very happy. 18 would be surreal and 20 out of 20, uh, maybe it will be easier than I think. I don't know, but I guess we'll find out. Also, the CCM partner one, I have no idea what I'm going to do for that one. I basically just went to CCM and found out some athletes that apparently are sponsored by them. And it was like the European version of their website. So I don't know what's going on. But anyway, I couldn't find it anywhere. There was a couple spots that I did locate it. There's probably an easy way to know and I just don't know about it. But I'm going to try to find someone on that small list. And if I Google them and you know, they're wearing all CCM. I'm gonna count it. For second or third generation, I think that one could be a little bit easier because I could try to get someone like Alex Nylander. But anyways, I think you get the point by now. I'm gonna go ahead and randomize a team and we can get started. So what team will we land on? It's gonna be the Arizona Coyotes. What a wonderful logo. Jabroni will not be editing my line. Salary cap, we'll leave it on for now, but we'll see if I can abide by that. I'll try my best. CPU trades, yep, go ahead if you feel like you want to. And if you feel like it's gonna help you beat me because I'm winning the Stanley Cup. I don't know if it'd be a good thing to have a high pick here or a low pick. Probably doesn't matter that much, but I'll say that we get pick number 13. Just a random number, toss it out there and see if I'm, oh, it's pretty close. Oh boy, what challenge should I go after? How much do people weigh? 236 for OV, 216 for Rantanen. Okay, but. Is 230 gonna be hard to find over that? I feel like we should be able to find a player at like high 70s or something. I also feel like the Olympic silver medalist, oddly specific by the way, might be kind of difficult. I'm just gonna use Wikipedia and hope for the best. I could wait to get someone like Besser for this CCM player, but I kind of want to just knock it out now. By the looks of it, both Crosby and Ovechkin are CCM partnered. I'm not gonna lie, I would rather take Sydney here, but I don't see him on the website. For their, this is also not, I don't know. All right, you know what? He has to be. He's wearing CCM everything. Sydney the Kidney will be our first selection. And that knocks out the partnership. How many contracts is there that are over 7 million as well? Because we need two of those guys. And I don't know if that will be easy or not. By the looks of it, it shouldn't be that hard. I could reunite Sid and Malkin. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pick up John Carlson. He's making 8 mil. So that surpasses the 7 mil limit. Quick mass, and as a result, I can mark off one of the seven mil plus picks. I'm also curious, what options do we have for over 40? We'll have, oh, Craig Anderson and Joe Thornton, that's it. That is literally our only two options, but I could take him at pretty much any point. So I'm not worried about that one. Jacob Markstrom, Swedish born. That will be a very ideal pick. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else we should knock out first, but honestly, I don't know if this is gonna be as bad as I thought it would. Yeah, now is as good of a time as ever. I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the Swedish born player with Markstrom. This will give us two right-handed defensemen for our first pair, but Mackenzie Weger is exactly six feet tall according to this. And he's got four abilities. Yeah, let's do it. Actually, you know what? The silver medalist won't be as hard as I thought it would. In fact, I might knock it out right now. Joe Pavelski in the 2010 Vancouver Olympic Games. 
got a silver medal with the United States of America. At least according to Wikipedia, which my teachers always told me was an extremely reliable source. We need another forward to play with Sidney the Kidney anyway. He's got an X Factor. 5.5 isn't brutal. I mean, he's old, but we're doing one year here, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's go, Joe. Duclair's 85 overall, making 3 million, and on top of that, he was drafted in the third round. Let's go. All right, you know, this is coming together good. I think we're going to be sick. I still need to get another player making 7 plus million, so flat out 7 would work. Someone like John Klingberg could be a selection. I'm thinking our best bet could be to try and find a left-handed defenseman making that, like Oliver ekman Larson. Or OEL, if you will. Because there's a chance that he might actually be better on that first pair as a left-handed defenseman. Yeah, you know what? I am gonna do it. I'm confident for some reason. I have a good feeling about this one. So we're gonna go with OEL as our second 7 million plus dollar earner contract guy. A player with 85 plus fighting, I feel like we could get that in the 70s as well, or low... 80s. I think the one I'm gonna try to knock out right now is drafted by the Detroit Red Wings because I feel like that could start to get pretty scarce as we move on here. So it's better to knock it out while we can and then leave the ones that should be easier till the end. I could go with Peter Mrazek, but I'm simply not going to. Are you? Can you pin players here? No, you can't. Okay, that's unfortunate. I thought it was like the entry draft for some reason, but Craig Anderson, you're as good as ours. Just not yet. Be patient. But just know you're getting picked. Anthony Mantha, 5.7 million at 84 overall. He's a sniper, apparently. I feel like he's more of a power forward, personally, but that's just me. He is drafted by Detroit, however. So let's go ahead and knock that one off the list. And I think I have my next target here. Carter Verhage is making 4.1. We need a player that is making between 4 and 6. And this is on the lower part of that, almost at the very bottom. I feel like that's good because we have been taking a lot of big contracts. We have a lot of picks remaining. We're getting close to halfway, but our cap is certainly taking a beating. So on that note, let's go ahead and knock off the four to six million dollar contract with Carter Verhage. I'm trying to put the name of the person beside the stipulation because remember I said at the text document, I'm ordering them, whatever, stuff like that. So I'm trying to put it beside and I have no idea how to spell Verhage's name. I just realized it's on the screen because it does show us our draft pick. So thankfully it's right there. Was I close? Okay, this might not be impressive to anyone else, but I actually nailed it. I spelled it correctly. Now I know I was just looking at his name, but I wasn't really paying attention to it. You know what I mean? Second or third generation. I would like to get that over with soon. Same with the 230 pounder or the 170 and below. Yeah, those might be difficult. Anders Lee is 236, but 7 million. I just can't. I can't. There's no way. All right, fine. I'm doing it. We're gonna run into some cap problems here. I can almost guarantee it. I'm not really sure why I thought this challenge was gonna be so difficult. I think my mind was kind of stuck in the fact that, you know, there's 20 different challenges and I have to complete all of them and trying to cram that in is gonna be difficult, especially with the cap space and everything, which to be fair, we are in cap trouble. But so far, we're knocking this out of the park. It is contract dependent, but the first person I find under 170 pounds is getting selected. Golikoski, you're so close. This is not the one that I expected to stump me. Blake, come on, dude. All right, on second thought, I'm waiting for that one because we cannot find anybody. Oh, we do have another one that's over 200 pounds, but that one's easy. You know what? Just because his contract is so good for the over the age of 30 pick, we're going with David Krejci. I also don't want him to go. His contract is so good. 1.5 million, 82 overall. Having a career year, I will continue to say it. I don't care, he's sick. But with Craig Anderson, we can knock off the over 40 draft stipulation. There you go, Craig. I know I'm blocking it. And if I'm listening to myself while editing this, hopefully I remove my face cam from the equation, but 84 fighting skill, come on, bump it up by one. Well, you know what? I want him as a depth player anyway. He's never won a Stanley Cup, so I will go ahead and take Marcus Felino to knock that challenge off the list. Single digit jersey number, get some depth scoring from Phil the Thrill. Our average age, not gonna be young, but oh well. He's only making 1.5 as well, so this is very good for us. Yeah, I can't say no to that. Let's go, Phil. How many picks do we have left? Not that many. So 4.6 isn't the end of the world for Alexiak, who, uh, if I move myself again, <laughs> he has 85 fighting, which is perfect. 
So Jamie Alexiak will be joining our team. I feel like to find someone with less than 75 speed is going to have to be an OHL player or something like that. But they also have to be able to play for the team. So that's got to be considered. Is this guy duplicated? What's going on here? Zach Jones. And I can't do... What? I... I can't continue! Oh dear. I forgot about the second or third generation. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got him. Paul Stasny. We need another centerman as well. His contract is very doable. This is prime. I don't know how this is working out so well, but it is. Let's go, Stasny. So we have two easy ones left and two hard ones. We have the Pacific Division, easy. Over 200 pounds, easy. But then we have the under 75 speed and the under 170 pounds, which I cannot find for the life of me. I mean, I'm gonna try harder, but I think I'm gonna knock the two easy ones out and then save those last two for just some ridiculously low overall players or something. I don't know. Carson, 212 pounds, that suffices. I wanna take Shattenkirk, but that leaves us with pretty much no salary for the last two players, but I don't think we'll need it because those two are gonna be what I think, at least, an extremely low overall. So from the Pacific Division Ducks, we will be taking Kevin, who is a right defenseman, 83 overall, and 3.9 should be doable. I'm gonna sort by forwards and the first person I come across that has less than 75 speed or is under 170 pounds is getting selected. And this could take a while, especially because it keeps bouncing based on the positions and the jersey number and stuff like that. We were so close. Is this like the WWE where they just completely exaggerate their height and weight? Because there's no way I can't find a player under 170. I don't believe it. We got two in a row, Paul Byron, 159, what a legend. And then at 165, we got Noah Cates, who is 23. Medium bottom six, they both play left. Oh, 3.4 versus 900K. Let me think real quick. Okay, let's see what you have, Mr. Cates. That's also optimal because it brings the average age of our team down slightly and <laughs> to make me feel less guilty. And we have $3.1 million left to find a forward that has less than 75 skating. If there's a forward with less than 75 skating that's making more than 3 million, I will be blown away. I feel like it's gonna be someone that is 60 something overall. There's no other way, unless they're just a notoriously bad skater, like Happy Gilmore, for example. Guy could destroy a puck, but man, he could not skate. I also feel like I'm gonna crash the game because I've just been spamming this and it kind of broke and I had to back out. Haven't seen a single person. See, I'm spamming it still. It's not letting me. I'm yet to see a person under 80. I don't remember which content creator it was that gave me this challenge, but... I am very upset with you. Once again, this is not the one that I thought was gonna give me trouble, and here we are. I'm starting to wonder if we're chasing a unicorn here. Like, does this even exist? Can someone please just suck at skating? That's all I ask. I just checked, we are at the 72 overall players, and I still have yet to see the speed drop below 80. New idea. I'm gonna go ahead, back out of this, go to the very, very bottom, and see if they have low skating or not. But just for a mental note, we were at 71 overall. 53, 53, there's no way. There's, there's no way. Oh my goodness, they exist. There's below 80, 76. We were so close. That just reignited me though. Maybe it's possible. If not, we might have to go with the 76 guy because it seems like he is the lowest speed in the entire game. It's gotten to the point that my hand is starting to hurt from spamming this one button repeatedly. Oh. We're back up to 72 overalls, okay. This doesn't exist. <sighs> I could try defenseman. This is flat out torture because we're so close. We are so close. Nolan. Yes, yes, let's go, Tony. All right, now that we know he exists, I'm gonna try to find a better player, but it's possible. We can complete every single challenge. I'm so gassed. I found several 75s, but I haven't found anybody else under 75. I'm up to the 73 overall, so I feel like it's not gonna happen. I think we're gonna have to go with Tony, which I don't care, I'm still happy about. I swear on my life, this challenge is gonna give me arthritis. Or should I say, Arthur right this. I've actually managed to go through the entire set of remaining defensemen. Tony is the only one. He's the chosen one. Tony, in the 0.001 chance that you come across this video, just know that you are an icon 
and I'm your biggest fan. I didn't take note of what overall he was because I was too busy freaking out, but I'm sure he was down here somewhere. I'm pretty sure his last name was Sund. Yeah, this guy right here, Tony! There he is, that's our boy, 72 speed. What a beauty. It is with great pride that your Arizona Coyotes select from some team, Tony Sund. Round number 21, I never thought I would see you. We also grabbed Veselainen, apparently. And Dustin Wolf, cool. I will have to make sure that Sund is in the lineup, but no problem. Everyone else should be there without issues. It's just Sund I'm gonna have to call up, which is brutal. He's an all-star, come on, coach. Look what he just did for us. I haven't really made my mind up yet, but if you're seeing this, then my mind was made up in favor of yes. And I'm gonna throw up a list of all of the different restrictions that we had, all the challenges that we had, and the player that we picked for that challenge. I kept note of it in my notepad, and there you go. So, our team is all filled out. Let's go ahead, edit the lines, and see what this team looks like. I don't exactly know how, but our chemistry is terrible. Sund only makes this line a dash one. I thought it'd be worse than that, so I'm totally on board. Our first line is a plus one. We've got Pavelski, Crosby, and Mantha, and then we got Carter Verhage playing with Krejci and Duclair. It works out quite well. Two-way forward, playmaker, sniper, and then we have sniper, playmaker, two-way forward. So that's ideal. And then our third line has Stasny, Lee, and Kessel, which Kessel's a sniper, but they have Stasny as a playmaker maker in the middle so that line could also produce some points and then our last line has the legend tony sund he'll be playing with noah cates and marcus felino defensively we got oel and john carlson Weger playing with alexiak and then susie playing with shattenkirk in net we have markstrom backed up by the man the myth and the legend Craig Anderson. All right, it's about that time. Predictions, I'm gonna say Crosby gets the most points, shocker. I'll say he gets 87. He's gonna get his jersey number. We're gonna get 44 wins and be in the playoffs. Normally I spend about 20 minutes drafting. I have been recording for an hour and 10 already. <laughs> oh no. Imagine after all this, I find out that I forgot to click record or something, I would lose my mind. Don't do me like this. Don't you dare do me like this. Why are we so bad? I don't understand why we're this bad. All right, fine, have it your way. I'll do stupid best lines. This is probably a rookie mistake, but I feel like our coach is also an idiot and isn't really working for our team. He's also a defensive coach. So what I'm gonna do is get rid of this B defensive coach that has a 50 team fit. Sorry, Quinton, but you're done. So Vlasic, who is actually an A minus and seems to be all right, will be our interim head coach. Wait, what? How is this guy a 61% team fit all of a sudden? Can I just hire him back? Would it work like that? His teaching specialty was defenseman literally 10 seconds ago. Okay, man's accepted. We got him back. Uh, didn't really help much of anything. Okay, never mind. I take it back. We're looking all right, chemistry-wise. Let's go to head coach preferred lines, though, because we are stinky. And I would prefer if we weren't. All right, these are the new lines. I changed them up a little bit, but this is what they want for the top six. So I'm just going to let it run, I guess. Defensively, they want McKenzie and John to play together. So I'll allow it, fam. OEL and Shattenkirk, then Alexiak and Susie. They're both left-handed, but it is what it is. How do they get both green check marks and it's a zero? I feel like we're getting finesse somehow. Oh, he's not playing well either. I'm not going to make any trades. So we just got to simulate and see if we can maybe turn things around here, have a TSN turning point, or if we're just going to be the worst team in the league, which it really looks like that's going to be the case. We suck. I wonder why we suck so bad. It doesn't make any sense to me. Like we're not a great team by any means, but this record is a little extreme. Yeah, we're just awful. Well, that's unfortunate. The season's already over at this point. I mean, I'm sure having a guy like Sund on the team doesn't do us any favors, but I don't know if it should be weighing us down this much. I mean, we have Sidney Crosby. We've got Pavelski, John Carlson, Mackenzie Wieger, Markstrom, and Nett just isn't working. We're not gelling. Well, I tried and I failed. It was an honest effort. That's all I can say. You know what? It's fine. Gotta take L's every now and then. That's how you learn. This time around, I learned that I never want to do this again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Actually, it was pretty fun to do the actual draft part. Did we finish last in the league? It's very possible that we did. We definitely were last in the division. Wasn't even close. But was there a team that did worse than us or not? Were we the absolute... Oh, that is just such a kick. Right in the family jewels. The team that won the President's Trophy. Never mind, they won the division. Let's go to the entire league. Columbus, okay? They have Victor Olofsson, Marty, and Kachuk. Marchment, Monahan, Hornquist. Like, am I crazy? 
I feel like our team is literally better than them. I did draft a lot of old players, so maybe that was part of it. Crosby had 84 points, and then Pavelski put up 56. Duclair put up 53. We just did not generate offense whatsoever. Markstrom got lit up like a Christmas tree. He had an 897 and a 310. Three shutouts on the year. 24, 37, and 9. Oh, boy. Even John Carlson didn't do that great. 44 points and was a dash 30. Okay, I wanted to be sure because I didn't see Lund back there for defensemen, but when I sort by forwards, there's only 11. So it's probably that weird thing at the end of the year, they just send a player to the minors. I don't know why it automatically does that. You know what? I'm gonna go look. If Lund got even one point, it's a dub. The whole video is a dub. Come on, Lund. Did you get? No way. Let's go! Four points! <laughs> what a beauty! I'm just gonna blaze through the awards real quick here, but if you guys want to see me try this again, maybe ask some other content creators and get some different suggestions, or if you have other ideas, like maybe I can make a poll or something, or just a random thing where people could go enter draft challenges. I don't know. Any ideas are welcome. Here's your playoff tree where the Islanders dominated. Other than round two, it was a cakewalk for them. Well, even though we struggled mightily, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed the draft part of this. But thank you guys for watching as always. We're getting so close, so close to 50K. I appreciate you. I'll see you soon.